What we do here is go back, 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 back.
Yo, 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 yo. 
How are we all? I hope we're very well. I am. I, I definitely am. Okay? So shut up. Not even in question. Thank you for asking. Um, welcome to a Sunday show. An hour later than usual, but you know. It's Sunday. We, my weekends I start whenever the fuck I like. Is what I've decided. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Pardon me. Did a burpee. For free. At no extra charge. How's everyone's weekend being? I hope you've spent this uh, fine uh, Sunday praising our Lord and Saviour, Jesus. Jesus? Jesus H. Christ. Jesus of Nazareth, okay? <laughs> I wish I could fucking speak. That would help me in my uh, burgeoning mm, career uh, as, a, as a broadcaster if I could fucking talk. If I could formulate entire sentences and pronounce words properly in the one and only language I claim to be able to speak. Such is life. Such is life. Anyway. Hopefully everyone's well. Yes, hello there. Welcome in one and all. Come on in. Join the show. Um, I'll do I'll do my quick shilling up top and we'll get into some content, yeah? If you enjoy my content, you can hit the follow button. You can subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe with Amazon Prime. You can give subs to the community. Uh, you can do bits messages, 200 bits or more will get you a text-to-speech. You can do super chats for the super chat link below, $2 or more gets you a text-to-speech. You can help me out on Patreon and or PayPal. You can hit me up at the Discord, uh, YouTube, Blue Sky, TikTok, Facebook. I've probably forgotten one. I sh really should just write it down. But what would be the fucking point? Oh yeah, it would make this much better. It's a stiff dick of poop. It would be a stiff dick of poop, you're quite right. Never a truer word spoken than by the one and only Gonzalo Lira twat. Thank you, Wayward Story, for gifting us up to non-binary. Much love to you both. Right. So, as is uh, typical, I think, uh, during the uh, recent Israel-Palestine schmuzzle, uh, in Britain we have essentially kind of dueling, uh, uh, dueling protests. At weekends now, it's become like a thing where there's basically every weekend a at least one big Palestine pro Palestine march, and then there's like a pro Israel march, right? Not necessarily on the same day. In fact, it's often not on the same day because that would be probably uh, uh, best for safety reasons, you know. Um, so there was one, the pro Palestine march on Sunday, sorry, on Saturday, and then there was a quote-unquote, march against anti-Semitism today. Now, in theory, I would be more than happy to go on a march against anti-Semitism. That would be lovely. I do have to wonder whether that's necessarily what this was about, though, considering some of the attendees were Douglas Murray, noted uh, horrific anti-Semite and uh, Islamophobe, Boris Johnson, a man who wrote a book saying that, uh, that uh, Jews secretly run the world, well, certainly strongly implying that, as well as, of course, um, uh, talking about George Soros funding everything uh, in Parliament when he was technically Prime Minister at the time. Uh, uh, things like that, right? R nasty, bigoted shitbags um, across the board. Uh, and also, they had, you know, speakers and things like that. And they ended the proceedings by singing the Israeli National Anthem. Now, forgive me, but what does the Israeli National Anthem have to do with fighting anti-Semitism? Oh, that's right, because this isn't about anti-Semitism. This is pro-Zionism. This is pro-Israel. So you're conflating Jewish people with the state of Israel. Thus, not only are you not marching against anti-Semitism, you're marching for a very specific brand of anti-Semitism, you cunts. Anyway, I give you that as a precursor. Because in order to appear like they weren't racist fuckheads, right... They did ask that one specific person not attend. That being the uh, noted uh, fascist Oompa Loompa, the Tenerife tiny twat, uh, Sir Thomas of Robinson, otherwise known as uh, Stephen Yaxley Lennon, who was his real name, but he goes by Tommy Robinson, and he has been uh, 
pushing all manner of bigoted shittery for the last 15, 20 years. Uh, he was head of the English Defence League, uh, which was a kind of violent urban rambling society that uh, went up and down the country, smashing the fuck out of places and t- terrorising uh, Islamic uh, citizens or uh, 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 Muslim communities up and down the country. So that was a, a thing. Anyway, he was asked specifically by the organisers not to turn up. Now, because this was public land, it's the centre of London, right? The streets are not owned by any particular individual. They're owned by everybody. Um, they couldn't literally stop him from doing so. But they did warn the police that he was going to be there, uh, or had planned to be there, and had asked them to keep him away from the thing. Which, again, the police do have the power to do on the basis of what's good for public safety. Now, taking you back... Two weeks. Two weeks. Do you remember I went to London for the march? And then when I got back, I I realised there was like a race riot that had taken place not far from where we'd been. That was partly instigated by Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson had turned up to that and then escaped in a pride taxi somehow. Uh, But he'd, he'd helped spark a race riot in central London two weeks ago. I think it's within the powers, therefore, of the, of the of the police to go, actually, yeah, it's probably best you're not here, mate. So they went and asked him, specifically, could you leave this area? And it didn't go well. Let's just put it that way. For Tommy, that is. I'm having my breakfast. I've just ordered a breakfast. I've just paid for my breakfast. I'm I'm having my breakfast. I've just paid for my breakfast. We don't live in a fascist state. I know you, you probably are unhappy that we don't live in a fascist state, Tommy. Yeah. I'm having my breakfast. I'm having my breakfast I've just ordered. I've just told you I'm having my breakfast I've ordered. Give me the money for my breakfast. There you go. Tommy's all about the Benjamins. He's all about the Benjamins, the lad, isn't he? Give him money. Give him money. Yeah, exactly. This is democracy manifest. You're arresting me on what charge? Being a tiny fascist? A succulent Chinese tiny fascist? Get your hand off my tiny cock. Give me the money for my breakfast. No, I won't. My breakfast has been paid for. I will come in and I'll make sure you leave. End of. Can I just ask again? Is there freedom? Is there freedom of the press in? He's he's trying to pretend he's a journalist. Which, by the way, like you realise, Tommy, a you're not a journalist, and b <clears throat> uh, just saying the word journalist doesn't mean the police can't do anything to you. Okay. That's not how that works. If you are a journalist who is potentially causing a problem to the public peace, they can remove you. That's not against freedom of speech or freedom of the of the press in any real way at all. And it's especially funny given that he's there as a Zionist, right? Um, and Israel have killed dozens of journalists. But apparently he cares about his specific rights when it comes to this. Intriguing, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, he then. Uh... Oh, that's my cameraman. I'm at work. Do you think a member of the press should be arrested for doing their no, job? No, no. I'm glad the journalists are saying that. So, Stephen, this is your own nothing wrong, Stephen. You're listening. This is your dispersal notice. You're now basically got to leave immediately. Are you going to take this off me or not? It's up to you. Wait, what are you annoyed at me? Officer, you're embarrassing Stephen. to you're embarrassing you're embarrassing this is embarrassing. Take that as we know. It's an embarrassment. You now need to leave. It's an embarrassment to the police. Get your hands off him. 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 Where are you taking me to? That's it. Where are you taking me to? Where are you taking me to? Just try to protect me right now. No, no, no. Oh, no, ironically, he should have just cooperated. Like, literally. If he'd just left, they wouldn't have needed to arrest him. But that wouldn't that wouldn't go with the, the grift, would it? His whole grift is about being arrested. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They have such an inflated sense of what they're entitled to. They have such an entire... Like, mate, you're not just entitled to just be in a specific place. You, you've been given a dispersal order, which means you have to fucking leave. If you don't cooperate, they will put you in handcuffs and physically remove you from that fucking place. Actually. Was the breakfast good? I don't think he got his breakfast. I don't think that was what happened in the end. I'm doing his security. Well, I think the police have taken that job off you. For, <laughs> like, you've kind of already failed on that one. You literally can't get within 20 feet of him. <laughs> These fucking clowns, man. Amazing. Oh shit, where was the other one? Oh hang on, hang on. Now yeah. oh, there was another one. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, this is the one. I fucking coughed him. Dickheads. Anyway, this was him afterwards. Um, yeah, it's it's quite funny. Wankers. For what? For what? Yes, that's my strike noise. He's claiming they see us cast him in the eyes. No, right, right, right. The, <laughs> if the police actually did do that, that's out of order. I mean, I'm not going to lose any fucking sleep, but it is out of order. Once you've coughed, you can't fucking spray the gun in the face. But, but, I'm going to hazard a guess, okay? I'm going to hazard a guess, given his entire past, his entire work, his oeuvre, that uh, he's lying. He's just making this shit up. They probably didn't do that. But this is part of the grift. This is the victim mentality. That's an all-two-tier policing system. That's where the baby must have dropped for that, bro. I'm a journalist. You saw... You're not a journalist. By the way, Suella, are you happy that... Uh, are you happy that uh, this is the kind of uh, racist scum that you're uh, inspiring with your lies? Because, again... The idea that leftists haven't been tear-gassed by the fucking police is ridiculous. Literally, two fucking days before this, they sentenced the woman to six months in jail for walking. She was a part of a Just, uh, 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 just Up Oil event, walking down a street. Yes, interrupting traffic, that's absolutely true. But she was walking. She was of absolutely no danger to any motherfucker. Six months in the nick. The idea that the leftists are treated re like with kid gloves is fucking ridiculous. There's no alarm distress. The people happen to see me. It's disgusting. Man. Why don't they treat jihadists like this? Why don't they treat jihadists like this? <laughs> you know, like if if a jihadist does something, they they'll kill them, right? Like the guy who attacked Parliament. You know, they shut him dead, right? That happened. Imagine the, Imagine he thinks he gets treated worse than jihadists. Fucking loser. Oh yeah, no, we watched that on stream before, Kieran. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, everyone, go and follow Kieran Saunders. My eyes, man. <laughs> I do love to see him upset. I will just put that out there. I do love to see Tommy Robinson upset. It's beautiful. His eyes would not be like that the time he left the station. Yeah, don't get Arizal or David North London. There's no way he got fucking pepper sprayed. He's making it up. He's obviously making it up. He rubbed his eyes to make them a bit red and then filmed his bit. 
Oh, the wankers, they've, they've CS sprayed me. You should go to my fucking Patreon. You should go to my my, my fucking... Uh, you should give me the money. Give me all the money. <laughs> That's his entire bit. It's ridiculous. They shot the narwhal tusk guy. Exactly, yeah. If you're a jihadist who does some shit, they'll fucking shoot you up. It's ridiculous that he thinks he's being treated unfairly. You're a fascist piece of shite. You should be in the nick. You should have been in the nick this whole time. Okay? You, there is not a town centre up and down the country he has not helped destroy at one point or another. He has endangered the ongoing legal uh, efforts to imprison child rapists. Because it's better for his clout. He should be in the nick. And he should have been in the nick a long time ago. Anyway. Right. I will keep you up to date. Because they'll probably let the fucking the charges drop, I imagine. Because he's a white man. Imagine, by the way, imagine him, uh, the way a black kid would have been treated. Imagine a young black kid acting in exactly the same way with the coppers. They'd have fucking battered him into the fucking morgue. Ridiculous shit. Toby Robertson is a hypocrite when it comes to opposing child sexual exploitation. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's defended his own uh, the pedophiles in his own ranks before. Yeah. yeah, no doubt about it. Anyway, moving on from this to something. Um, I I don't even know what this is. If I'm entirely honest, right? This is uh, someone suggested this to me. They sent me this in a DM and said you should look at this. This is mental. So it's Sunday. It's the day of rest. So let's take a look at... This is Keffels debating someone called Karl Max, which is like Karl Marx. I don't know if you get that. It's very subtle. Um, about they, Fab? I, I mean, any any transoids in chat? What, what what the fuck's that about? You want to give me the lowdown on the, on the they, Fab, sitch? Because I'll be honest with you, I haven't got a fucking clue what any of that bollocks is about. Which will make my analysis of this situation pretty much Ladies pointless. We got him. Victory is ours. When you think about it. Thank you for joining. The Spezzy is on fire. I don't know what the fuck that means. But good for you. Uh, I hate preachers. The point alone is not debatable. The police have more balls when it comes to people like Robinson than they do when it comes to some hate preachers with definitionally more harmful beliefs. That point alone is not debatable. I would suggest that's very debatable, the shrunken oak. I would say that was very debatable, considering, he sh again, I will point out that Tommy Robinson should have been in jail for much of, if not the entirety, of um, the last decade, 15, 20 years. Whatever. However long he's been in the public eye. So I will very much debate that. Uh, the Spezzi is a German drink. Oh, well, there you go. It's all very... It, it's all Dutch to me. What's this? Uh, I didn't want to look forward to... to sorry, I don't want... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll start again. Right. <clears throat> Alethion says, uh, this is quite a long comment, but you know what, we're going to read through at least some of it. Uh, I don't know if I want to look forward to today's top topic. Uh, already had a discussion with girlfriend about it and like, whatever it's a slur or not, like the discussion seemed unnecessary and though I have to specify that I try to keep out of online drama, so my impressions are like, limited. I feel that I haven't seen that term used in a way that is helpful slash contributing to a healthy discussion. This is they fab now. When it's used, I ask to what for, to what for? What is the term supposed to say? What is it? How is it used? And whom is it used for? Which type of person is meant by it? And as I said, I think the hesitancy to deal with drama that's not my circus means I have I might have ignored some clique drama shit, but outside of that context, I've never seen the term used in a way that is helpful, that contributes something new and positive. I have only ever seen it describe a specific subgroup of trans people, AFAB trans mask people. 
so that's assigned female at birth, trans masculine. Right. Uh, people, overwhelmingly non-binary people. Uh, if it was ever been used to talk about AMAB people, I haven't noticed. And usually it's used in a context where I feel like the intent is to cast dispersion towards the sincerity of one person's gender expression. Okay. Thank you, Alethion. That is, that is a helpful primer to the situation. So we'll we'll take a look at um, at that. Uh, Non-binary says uh, noun edit they fab plural they fabs LGBT slang derogatory. A non-binary person who is a certain female at birth, often one that does not change their physical appearance. Coordinate term. Co oh yeah, okay. Right. So basically, it's a uh, a non-binary person who doesn't quote unquote pass, I guess, or something like that. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, we'll see what they have to say. It's probably going to be absolute cancer. I mean, sure, you can say I was rage baiting. I didn't know that you were saying that Xander Hall deserved his financial trouble. Can you become a little bit racist if an ethnic minority this is annoying? This is the most pointless discourse we've engaged in. Do you know how many stupid trans people there are? Do you know how many trans people Carl there are? Carl Max compared they fab to saying the N word in this conversation. So it's interesting how you're problem... deflecting. Why are you deflecting? No, right this now? is the problem, Where, you gaslighting from? piece of sh you keep exaggerating your points on Twitter, and then when you get called out on it, you end up walking it back, being like, oh, I was just exaggerating. Wait, I I'm was sorry, just rage baiting. Oh, to be. F oh, shit. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Fucking wank ass. Oh, for God's sake, hang on. Hang on. Right, that's where we were. To be fair, the. Uh, Martin Bailey that some people do where they'll say something really extreme on Twitter then when they get called out on it on like a, 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 on a stream or something like that they then walk it back that's a well trodden path unfortunately yeah it's the new trans trender oh is it oh no no mm. oof Do you, want to, do you want to get right into it then? Okay, so I want to figure out what the context was in the first place. Why <laughs> were you saying that people who say they fab should be with anvils? Should be what? I, look, I said that an anvil should spawn 30 feet above their head. That doesn't mean they should be killed. Oh, come you know, on. We, we know it. Oh, so killed. Okay. That's, yeah. What do you mean by this? <laughs> okay. Um, I strongly dislike the term, uh, uh, they fab, because it, like, serves the express purpose of reminding a trans person of their sex, right? Same way that you wouldn't refer to a trans woman who you disagree with as a she-mab, right? Like, that feels like a fucked up thing to do. Hence why I think that they fab is really fucked up. And therefore, I feel like people who are using terms that have kind of the purpose of inducing dysphoria, uh, maybe should have an anvil fall on them, maybe, occasionally? You okay, know? so but the I'd first thing I would say... You... Again, hyper, you can say that's hyperbole, but I don't think the wishing of pretty extreme violence is that cool a thing to do, really. Like, if someone's going around purposely trying to get people uh, to feel bad or whatever, like, that's, okay, that's fucked up, but an anvil on their head is pretty... Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty out there. The on this is, how do you know that it's being used to induce dysphoria? In which context did you see well, the term being used? What, I mean, the, the term itself is, is dysphoria inducing, is it not? I mean, for lots of people who don't want to be reminded of their, like, birth sex, right? Is that not, like, pretty, is that not directly kind of doing that? Being like, hey, reminder, you you you're different from the rest of everyone else right like for some people uh, it, it, i could see this but that is that's making the people? assumption that you're talking about someone who experiences dysphoria in the first place and when that argument like when that term is being used it's usually being used to refer to non-binary people who aren't trans they're not going through a medical transition they don't feel dysphoria uh, I think that reminding them of their birth sex when they identify as non-binary is still, uh, I mean, you can call it non-binary phobic if you don't want to call it transphobic. 
but that's still a, like a shitty, awful thing to do. And also the argument about dysphoria and if it's okay to then insult people uh, because they're non-dysphoric or whatever is kind of bullshit because every time I see that being invoked, it's against people who haven't made it clear if they do or don't experience dysphoria. It's mainly just used against people who are gender non-conforming and don't look like the gender that they're transitioning to according to like conventional societal standards. See, I feel like we're missing, I feel like you're missing like the core of this yeah. issue. The but reason why people use it as an insult in the first place. Like, the only times I've seen people use the term they fab is when it was non-binary people who were assigned female at birth who were doing um, AFAB-only housing. Or the non-binary mm -hmm. person who was assigned female at birth who was saying that my dog hates AMABs, which both of these things are blatantly transphobic. I mean, yeah, those things are retarded, right? But that doesn't mean that you have... The edginess of the people online, and when I say edginess, I mean that in an entirely derogatory sense. The in the kind of fake edginess of people saying the R word, or this they fab shit. What uh, uh, it, people feel the need to feel above other people all the fucking time. It's not a thing I tend to experience as a person who has not necessarily a great opinion of themselves. I don't know. Um, thank you for uh, for subscribing on YouTube. Um, people feel the need to raise themselves above others. They're better than some other group of people. Mixed with the, the thing I've talked about in the past, the kind of South Parkification of, of political discourse, the uh, not caring about things is cool type attitude, and you end up with people just randomly using the R term in a discussion about whether it's okay to use a different particular slur. Like, you you lose the moral high ground to talk about the offensiveness of the slur you don't like when you're using it, when you're using that term that we all know is a slur and we all know is ableist to do so. It's, um... It's shit. Fucking stop. Have then a right to try and go out of your way to remind somebody of their like birth sex for no reason. Why not just say that they're trans misogynists or something, right? Like that's just bioessentialism. Why not call them out for that rather rather than like going for an insult which like directly has the express purpose of trying to remind them of their birth sex? I don't. I think the reason why is that it's it is such a common pattern of behavior that people coined a term to reference it. And at the point when they're doing shit like that, I don't see why they deserve that respect. Do you think that the Oh, there's some question as to whether she tampered with this FOD. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, well, I, I looked for the main thing because I was going to watch the entire thing, but that has been taken down. So is there some suggestion she may have edited out bits from this? Because that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty fucking dishonest. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, but I'm just, you know, I'm putting that out there. Majority of the times it's used is actually used like that? Like, because I don't know anybody who defines it um, the, the way that you are. And I also don't understand the point of um, insulting people who are even non-dysphoric, really. Yeah, abfab is what popped into my head as well, yeah. Wheels on fire, rolling down the road. There's no to find my next of kin. The three people in chat who understand that reference, you're also sad like me. And old like me. Really, right? Like, if if that is the case, who gives a shit? Why bother? Why, why like, go after them and try and be like, so actually, you're not That's valid, why I asked... Right? That's why I asked at the start of this. I was like, what was the context it was being used? Because, like, removing it from the context in which people are mad, I totally understand why it's a shitty term. But I feel like if if you're talking about it in the context that I've seen it, it just feels like tone policing a marginalized group, expressing frustration at a common behavior that they see in other people. Would you say it's okay, it would be okay to call like a an, a trans woman who's got annoying opinions on trans stuff a she mab? Uh, uh, yeah. A how she -mab, is that? that would be all right? How is that actually relevant to it? 
Well, because it's a direct comparison. That would like apply to it's trans It's not. I'm asking you what the people. context is in the first place that oh, people sorry. are using it. Well, I mean, I made that clear, right? The context that people are using it in is to invalidate people who they perceive as non-dysphoric and to insult them. No, That's I'm talking about a specific situation in which you've seen it being used. Like, when was someone called a they fab? What was the context I... that led you to say that in the first place? Uh, well, I've, I've got several friends who are trans masks and have been insulted over not being gender conforming enough and have been called uh, they fabs. See, I agree with you then. Then why are you trying to debate me over this? Why well, am I trying like, to debate you? Because, people, I, because I've seen people... people that I would describe as they fab and I don't have sympathy. But why would you describe them as that? Why not just use a different term which is... You, you just admitted that that's fucked up to describe people that way and yet you're saying but it's okay to call these other people this thing. Is it? Am I wrong here? Or is this is that like a blatant contradiction from one sentence to the next? That seems like some... That seems very, very stupid. Isn't, like, so inflammatory. And also, like, so drenched in, like, transmed bullshit as well. Like, do you want to be, like, associated with that crowd? I... No, I feel like it's weird to even say that I'm associated with that crowd when I made it pretty clear that I hate that crowd. Yeah, but who else uses that term? Like, actually. Like, I do not see... I Literally. I've I, seen I a lot of trans don't... women use that term specifically to talk about their experiences of transphobia from people who are non-binary. I don't, I don't see why they would have to use that term or why we would, why you'd then be like, okay, well, that's all right. Is it, oh, I mean, again, is it okay to use the say, like, she map against a trans woman who's being Are shitty you saying to you? She or map has or she what is she map? She map. It's she a map? direct, yeah, it's a direct. I have never heard this term uh, before. I know, I made it up. It's so you can wait, see so the comparison. Wait, so wait, you, so you just made this up for the point of an argument. Yeah, it's like, see, if, that's if, the if, problem. If, it's like, I don't think that's not an argument, Kefels. If you have they fab, if you have they fab and you're saying that that's okay to do because it targets this group who you perceive to be involved, why can't we flip that around and say that you could do the same thing to trans women? What's what, Because I want to talk we... about actual arguments in the context in which these happen and I don't want to talk about This is a hypothetical thing. though. It's a comparison. Oh god. Look, she might have fallen out with uh, redacted, redacted, redacted. Uh, uh, Mike from PA, that is. Oh, sorry, I've doxed him. No. Fuck it. I'm Mike from PA. He's, he's from Pennsylvania. His name's Mike. Yeah, I did it. And what? Come at me, bitches. Anyway, um, uh, she may have fallen out with him, but she's learned some of his uh, his weird fucking ways. I'm not going to in indulge in hypotheticals. Why? why? Why are you allowing for that standard now? That's ridiculous. It seems perfectly reasonable that that, that would be a corollary. Corollary? Yeah, I think that's the word. Anyway, a direct uh, version of... They fab would be she fab, but that would hurt you because you're a person who is a trans woman. So she's not going to even entertain it. Rather than take the argument on, she's just going to pretend like, well, wow, that's a hypothetical, so fuck you. There are a lot of chatters begging her to take the L. I know she's taken a lot of flack today for this. Um, and I sort, of, I sort of wanted to see like what all the hubbub was about. What the kerfuffle about the kerfuffles was. God, I'm a twat. Anyway, um, yeah, and it's it seems pretty silly so far. It's, it's, it's a very valid comparison. I don't think it's valid. Like, I was talk- I asked at the very start of the Wait, conversation- Wait, would you or would you not think it's okay to- I be? asked at the very start of the conversation, what was the context that made you say that? Was there a situation that came up? I Every feel like time right I've out seen of it the used, gate, it's been employed in a shitty when way. When did you see it used? That's what I was asking. I was trying to Every, understand like, the context. Several times with like trans like trans mask friends of mine, several times with arguing with 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 trans meds, like at pretty much every time I've argued with trans meds, they've they've used it. I don't understand I, I don't I, like, why not just tell people to use a different term which isn't, like, set out to try and, like, remind people of their, like, of their assigned gender at birth? Why is that the approach here? Why is that necessary? See, what in does the that do? In the, one in the context that you're mentioning it, I agree, that's shitty. But I don't think mm -hmm. that it's okay to tone police people who are upset when it is very obvious 
that they're being targeted by a specific group. Would like, it be okay to call a trans woman a she mab if she was shitty about your gender? That's missing the context. This is this is a no. Fucking it's missing the basic context. Comparison. It's not a it's, basic. What do you comparison. mean it's missing the context? How, no, what, it's what, not what, okay. What context you need? Call them. A, you just made up the term she mab. It's just yeah, divorced from the rea- Yeah, I care because no, it's divorced from No, it's a direct reality. fucking. Wait, it's... how do you how do you not recognize how shemab is analogous to they uh, to to they fab? It's literally analogous. It's literally how do you, you you see that right? How is it analogous? Give me the context in which it's being what? used. Well, the pronoun they're using is is they, and the pronoun the trans woman will be using is she. The assigned gender at birth is AFAB, and therefore they fab. The assigned gender at birth for a trans woman is AMAB, and therefore uh, uh, she mab, right? That's what it would then become, right? That's that's the comparison I'm making here. The problem that I'm having with this is that she mab doesn't mean anything. What do you mean? Because oh, it's a oh, term that you created. It so, so what? It, a term is always something that somebody else created. What fucking... Oh. This is this is actually really bad faith. This is genuinely quite bad faith. She knows full well that the thing that's being described here is a version of that word that would directly affect her. So rather than take that on and realise, oh, maybe they fab's bad then, maybe I'm actually just bullying other people or something, she's prepared to just ignore it. Again, she's picked up some really bad habits from Mike from PI. I'm glad she's fallen out with him because he's a prick. But why are you sending me this? These, the, right? Thinking Cybercat. I don't even know what the fuck you're sending me there. That's just some weird vampire faces. I don't know what that is. What can I do with that? Doesn't mean anything. Aren't all terms created? No. no. They come from the magic word tree. The tree of the word. You literally just made Did it they up. Fab always exist? Yeah. It's been a... It was uncovered. It was uh, encased in rock from dinosaur times. They found it in uh, when they were digging in the uh, in uh, the, in the Yellowstone Park. Yeah. Term for a while. Like there are definitely okay. different yeah, contexts in which that people point, use right? it. Right. I don't see how this matters. I don't see how this matters at all. Why? Why can't you engage with a hypothetical? Why, would it or would it not be okay to call it because I... What's wrong with Mike? Um, there are lots of things that are wrong with Mike. Uh, all I'll say is, find me a person who's known Mike for like three years that likes him. Show me a person who is aware of the existence of Michael from Pennsylvania for a significant amount of time and is still like cool with them. I'll wait. I shan't hold my breath, but I shall wait. Uh, Kevin doesn't know Doctor Who. Take away his left UK. No, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm okay with Doctor Who. I'm just more of a casual Doctor Whoist. I'm not, I'm more of a kind of a, a virgin Who cell rather than a, a Chad Who enthusiast. I'm not who maxing, is what I'm suggesting, okay? I think that the history of the term matters in the context of the discussion. Okay, what what history are we? Are That's we why when because I feel like this conversation got way too aggressive right out of the gate when I was trying to ask the context. Like I thought. Oh yeah, this is some online bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely. This is the kind of conversation where I want to scream at both of the parties involved. Uh, and say like, please go outside and no, don't just touch grass. Have a conversation with a normal person. Have a conversation with a person who doesn't have a Twitter account. Please, for the love of God. Thought there was a situation that led to this, but it seems just, like there I, wasn't. I, it's just and you were... every time I've seen that used, I, I just I, I do not see like people who are good faith and kind and actually not trying to like go in and invalidate someone's gender using that term. I don't understand in which argument it would be necessary to suddenly start trying to invalidate somebody's identity.
Like it, you can you can say so many things. You can you can insult people in so many ways. You can uh, explain in a billion different ways how they're stupid and wrong. I don't understand why you have to then bring their fucking assigned gender at birth into it. It just feels weird and fucked up and unnecessary. I'll agree with you on that. I mean, I don't huh? think that in the context I've seen the term used, it's fucked up, but it feels like a pretty... It seems pretty fucked up in the way that you've described it being used. And I think that the problem is, is that we're coming from this from two different angles. Can we, I mean, I mean, but I think that the way that I'm describing it being used is the standard way. If we look at like the Urban Dictionary definition, all of them are describing what I'm talking about. None of them are talking about the thing that you suggested. No, do not attend a kink rally, especially if you've got bare feet. Look, I don't want to go into it, okay? I don't want to go into it. That's that's even more weird trans streamer lore that we don't need to be uncovering right now. Is RGR still a thing? Does she still do stuff? I don't know. She blocked me ages ago, so I have no idea. She could be fucking dead. I'm, I hope she's not, by the way. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> wishing anything. I just mean, like, I, I'm not aware of them. I don't I don't see them around anymore. And, and I, I tuned in for a moment at the start of your stream where you defined it as, um, like, a, a non-binary AFAB person who's got, like, um, like, shitty views on trans stuff or something like that, right? Um, which is just not the case. It's just about I mean, the only time I've ever seen it used is when valid. people. The only time I've ever. Oh, you're a foot person, non-binary, a digital degenerate, so to speak. Okay. I've seen it used is when trans women were venting about discriminatory behavior. Dude, from... you have not seen like so much then there is every, I, I i've every time i've seen like oh not sorry maybe not every time 99 percent of the times i've seen that term used it is with the express purpose of invalidating some non-binary so wait was this person. about That's someone was suggesting time. was this about see now i want to know with what she's up to hang on i'm sorry uh what was the fucking name riley grace roshong youtube i guess okay um are they still doing stuff? Videos, political hobbyism, and online. So that's that's no. Then okay. Um, they've got a link tree. What have they got on there? Maryland bar exam. Okay. Eh, is she on Twitter? Am I still banned? Am I still blocked? I'm not blocked. Okay. Uh. They haven't posted anything since October the 16th. Oh, she's retweeting fucking... Mar oh, no. She's retweeting Destiny. Not so erudite. Oh, God, she's trash. Yeah, no, RGR's still trash. Okay, come on. Good to know. About the now-deleted Twitter thread about someone asking if a queer fab if a queer event was they fab or tranny being told it was a queer event only for them to show up and it was they fab uh not really i mean that tweet is like <laughs> that tweet's like neither here nor there um I, I i thought it was like kind of stupid and i feel like the terms there could be interchangeable with oh like, wait i'm on uh, trans shit and trans i'm on twitch hmm? i just realized i'm also on twitch i can't say that He's oh my... shit wait what can't we say uh we we can't say the word that I just said, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and delete that VOD. Oh yeah, okay. Can we start Can we start this over? Cause I honestly think that this got way too hot out of the gate, and I didn't expect this to be okay. blood sports. And now I feel like no, it's okay. I got I'm sorry. Can I just say, thinking Cybercat, you have altered some of the Doctor Who. Is it Doctor Who's or Doctor's Who? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, to look not, still not like me. None of those doctors who look like me. The, uh, you've you this. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't know what the fuck is this. Oh, my head hurts. Uh. Vod mystery solved. Wow. Well. I'm not sure about that. Well, no, because the VOD was gone from YouTube, so the VOD mystery is most assuredly not solved. I, I didn't even look for the VOD on Twitch. I only looked for it on YouTube. No, this is just... 
I feel like I got put I, into I a really defensive position when I didn't understand the context in the first place. I Yeah, I get you. No, this is also why I was confused. I don't see you as being someone who would really have odd opinions on this, so I do think it's genuinely just you not being informed about it. But I, I, I swear, if you look up the term on Twitter... Okay. You cannot accuse a streamer of being ignorant on a matter. Those are fighting words, okay? Those get fists thrown. You want to catch these fucking hands, bitch? Yeah, tell me I don't know some shit. Yeah, I'm and actually going to do... I'm actually going to do that. Because I, do. I want to see if I'm wrong on this. Because... Yeah, I, I, I really think you are. I think you're like misled on this. I, I get it, and I, I I've seen trans women using it like that, but I think it's a term that they shouldn't be using either. I don't think anyone should be unnecessarily trying to remind everyone about their fucking <laughs> assigned gender at birth, right? Like, why can't we, we should just be able to avoid that? Even if you are venting, even if you are getting angry, it is basically kind of just transphobia to be like, actually, you're not actually the thing that you say you are. You are just still your assigned gender at birth, right? Because that's what that's saying, isn't it? It's kind of reducing someone to that in a way, right? One sec. Sorry, no worries. I can try and, and find some examples as well, but if you just if you just go on any- No, that was an edit. I saw that edit. We'll go back and say, hang on. No worries. I can try See? and, and that find was an some edit. examples as well, but if you just- if Now, you just it might have been a perfectly reasonable edit. I have no idea what was taken out there. It could have been perfectly reasonable. It could have just been them going, uh, mm, uh, as they look for something, you know, something they want to show. Or they're responding to a private message or whatever. But, I, I don't know. If you left the VOD up, it wouldn't be a problem. On any, like, gender non-conforming or even just not super masculine trans masks account, and you, like, look up tweets adding them uh, with, like, they fab, I'm sure you'll find something. Like, that, that, it happens, like, all the fucking time to transmask. It, it like you. you uh... Keffels is crying on stream right now. Oh god. Do I go and look at that? And that's like, there is a certain resentment that I feel about that, which is why I am so indignant about it, because this is literally an online thing. That's... So can, can people, can people understand that? That it's like literally an online thing? What's the chat sign? No one is going up to non-binary people in person and being like, you fucking vafab. No one's doing that. That's not a thing. Like, most people don't even know what that word means. I didn't. Keffel's Max is British trash. Yeah, it's not lol. used in real life at all. No one, True. like, True. here's the thing that's like, the most frustrating thing to me is that it is a word from the trans community and from a very niche part of the trans community then most trans people don't even know what this word means. And because most people don't know what it means, they don't know the original context behind the word, they start, like with what literally Canada did, tried to equate shemale with theyfab, when one is a word that came from the trans community and has a specific context about people being- Okay, we'll get back to this thing. And, and to like then enable the term, when it, it is just kind of designed to cause dysphoria is like, Fucked up, right? So I'm looking it up. You got me curious now. The first mm -hmm. thing was you posting that you're debating me on this. Yeah. And then the second Real thing case? is someone saying they fab isn't a slur because uh, they wouldn't get turned on if they got called it. <laughs> and then... Okay, that's, that's actually pretty funny too. <laughs> a shit post... If you think they fab as a slur, maybe don't talk to trans women. People doing discourse about... Yeah, this is not revealing anything right now. I thought this would reveal more, I'm... but it didn't. If I mean, I'm not gonna go ahead and, like, call out every, like, uh, non-masculine trans mask I know who you can, like, look at, like, their experiences and you can talk to them. But I assure you that they have, like, dealt with a, a ton of shit using that term specifically. 
Um, I mean, uh, if you sure, if you don't uh, fucking believe me or whatever, that's uh, that's that's fine, I guess. Uh, what's the point of of using this term? And and uh, again, I am gonna go back to the the comparison I made before, and I I really want you to answer this. Why would it would it be okay to call a trans woman a shemab if she had shitty opinions on gender and? Uh, fucking, I guess, was non dysphoric or whatever the fuck. Would that be fine? Would that be okay? You can call or you me. perceive her to be non dysphoric. You can call me that if you want. Okay, would you be fine with that? I was about to say, that's not really the question that's being asked. Whether you would be fine with it is slightly different to is it fine in general? There are some people who are fine with all sorts of different words that wouldn't be fine, you know, with you using it against other people. You, I, I think we can safely say given the backlash that she regularly gets from within the trans community, the Kefels is not entirely representative of every trans person. Other trans people, uh, other people calling other trans women that? See, I just don't want to even engage with the hypothetical because oh, it's come a come on! I don't want to engage with the hypothetical though. because I want to talk about terms that are actually in use in the community. That's such bullshit That's though. not why, bullshit. Why would you... It's that not is bullshit. bullshit. It's, it's, it is it's bullshit. How is it, it is not a fucking bullshit. analogous argument? How it's is it not, not like, directly comparable? Want, it's stupid. I don't what, want to engage. What, how is it not serving the exact same purpose that they I don't want to engage with the hypothetical that, that you just is. made up that has nothing to do with the community. Like, I I think that they... What do you, what, what do you mean? I mean, I, how could it not be important? Because obviously in, like, the answer is no, but we're not purpose. talking about that issue. Obviously, the answer is no. What? What do you Obviously, mean? Obviously, no, the answer okay is no. Don't use. call. Don't don't call trans women. Then why would you do that to fucking non-binary people? Why would that be okay then? Why would that be okay? In the context that I saw it, I understand why people are frustrated. I don't think. That I mean, it's still practically I feel misgendering, like though, isn't it? trans women is shitty. I, I think don't that give they're a allowed fuck. To be I think you should tone police people who are practically misgendering all the time. Fuck that. Misgendering I, 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 all the that... time. See, we're talking about different things entirely. Okay, look, if you're if you're gonna reduce someone to their birth sex, that is to me equivalent to misgendering. I don't give a shit. There's, you're saying that they are not I what they so identify as. I was so to be more chill. I'd, I, like, I just, I'm very I, I, confused. It's just, it, 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 I'm no. It's just it's, it's frustrating because I I just see it be used so in such an awful awful way. That's why and, and, I was and, and, asking and, you for the context in which it was used. But I explained and it, and you, you continued to defend it. You didn't show me any context. I mean, it, it, I, I I I can I can like fucking I can send you some stuff later, but I'm, I don't want to like have put someone on blast here, you know. I, there are, I, if you, I, do you think I'm lying about it? I don't do think, think that it, you're, it, 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 I don't wait, wait, think that do you you're, wanna, what? Do you want to look through the Urban Dictionary definitions of it? Because I, I, I assure you, nobody's using it like the way that you think it's like used. So go on Urban Dictionary and look up they fab and, and see what comes up. Hello, mate, I, 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 It's not, wait, it's how not many, describing, huh? How many trans women are you close friends with? Plenty. Plenty. Tons of them. Tons yeah, I've got lots of trans woman friends. I'm in. I'm a Vorshite, and I, I like. <laughs> I, I'm... Okay, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I've got lots of. Trans... <laughs> I'm a Vorshite. <laughs> oh. I'm a Vashai. I've got so much horse cock porn. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Vashai. Oh. You know what? I get all the British hatred. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I can't complain, can I? Really? Bang to rights. We are not a serious nation. Even our leftoids are mental. Amazing. Just... You know, I'm, 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 I'm very much. I, 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 I know tons of trans people. I know it's okay. Like I, 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 I would still tell someone, um, regardless of their gender identity, cis, trans, or otherwise, to not make an insult that harkens back to someone's assigned gender at birth. Oh, he's he's very very British. Yeah, I mean, listen to him. He sounds like he's currently uh, using an Indian as uh, as a horse and exploiting the land. Do you know what I mean? He say his accent is so British; it's literally starving Indians to death right now. That's how British it is. 
unnecessarily. I think that's just kind of like. Wait, is this is it, this like it, trans? It's fortune? kind of stepping too am, far. Am I am I doing this? Is this like some weird trans incel shit that I'm just like unaware of? Trans cell. Why? What are you talking about? How, would it be okay like the, no, to no, like? No, no, not you. Stop being defensive. Okay. I was asking if the term itself. I'm not trying to attack sorry. you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I was asking if there's like context I'm missing here. Because like you, I legit, you the mean? only times you... I've seen this term used in tweets that get big. All British leftoids sound like this dude apart from Kev. That's true. Apparently I sound like John Peel. Which, honestly, until I started broadcasting to Americans, I'd never heard that before. Until I started going online, I'd never heard anyone say, you sound like John Peel. And now I, I hear it semi-regularly. Because it's not as if John Peel is a current reference point. A man that's been dead 15 years or whatever and was at his uh, was at his height of fame in the 70s, you know. It's literally people who were Wait, being Wait, do you want to look at, you know, you know Cactus, right? The the random oh, piece yeah, of shit no, on Twitter? A... Oh, oh, God. John Peel. He was a radio uh, guy. He was like a radio disc jockey <laughs> back in the 70s, 80s, whatever. Let's see if we can find John Peel talking. Um, John Peel Desert Island Discs, I guess. Okay. Uh, I, I find that the people who listen to the programme don't write to me in quite such uh, intimate, in such an intimate way as they did previously, which is rather sad, I think. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm obviously I'm only going to be fifty once, and uh, this won't happen again unless I survive to being to be a hundred. So hopefully that'll all die down, and they'll start to write to me again in the same way they did previously. So does that? Do I sound like that? Do I this? And don't just say yeah for the sake of it. Do I actually sound like that person to you? He didn't present the old grey whistle test. I was confusing him with someone else. Yeah, you're confusing him with um, uh, Bob. Um, what was his name? Whispering Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. Oh, fuck's sake. Whispering Bob. Bob Harris. You're thinking of Bob Harris, who is another meme-worthy British music type guy. Who, yeah, like you say, who hosted a thing called the Old Grey Whistle Test, which was has literally had every single famous rock and roll blues artist of the last fucking 50 years went on uh, the Old Grey Whistle Test at some point. And he's like, yeah, he basically did ASMR, but on TV. Hello and welcome to this week's Whistle Test. Norman Nosebait on drums, Nick Hutchinson on bass, and our chum, Pete Wingfield, on keyboards. Fires of Spring was the title of that, and you can find it on the LP, Whatever Happened to Benny Santini. And our visitor to the programme tonight is also to, uh, currently touring the country. He presented like this tell you that among the for decades. He's had here a Peter Gunn, because they're young, dance with the guitar man and rebel rouser, you'll know for sure that I'm talking of Duane Eddy. Partners to Highway really seems to me to be a very complex album in terms of, lyrically, it's, it's, it's more complex, I think, maybe than some of the other things before. How much time did you spend on this new album? Like, he just used to whisper to the nation about music for, like, fucking 30 years. <laughs> and here's Thin Lizzy. You know, it just, uh, it was amazing. Hmm? Piece of shit. Go on Cactus's account, look up they, uh, they Fab. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no, people you think to she's be, gonna be using Mamouf, that people didn't say I sounded like Bob Harris. I played Bob Harris because someone got confused between uh, uh John Peel and Bob Harris. Not based on what they sound like, but based on their time and cultural place. If that makes sense. Oh. Sing it to, to vent about every like personal experience she's had no, in but being invalidated by a trans mask. I feel like using cactus specifically is bad because everything. Look at that any she of her tweets, friends. Look at any like of the like general the trans person. med community. 
Okay, yeah, but I'm I'm using well. You wanted examples, right? Obviously, that's going to be a, a strong one. But if you look at I any guess the of the other that people, I guess got so confusing to me is that I thought that there was a context in which you tweeted it, like a greater discourse that was currently happening. The greater and discourse. I, I thought... It's just the term itself existing. Just why? Why would we use that? Why? Why have to invoke that? Why? Be... Yeah, it seems like a pointless look. If some people are offended by the thing, and it's not essential to anything, look, it's not like. This is a word, like, if, if people are offended by the word the, T-H-E, the, right? You're not going to stop using the word the because it's very, very important to the uh, language, right? To the structure of sentences and things. But they fab was a word that we survived without with uh, for, for tens of thousands of years as a species. We don't need to use they fab. If people are offended by it, just don't fucking use it. It's not actually that difficult, it seems to me. That's me as one of the Wurzels. It, well, it's not really me. It's, it's the fat version of me as one of the Wurzels. Are people aware of the Wurzels in, in America? I presume not. I presume they didn't translate well across the Atlantic. I don't know. Um, they, they're a fascinating group. Uh, they, essentially, they sound a bit like pirates singing, but not about pirate stuff. If that makes any sense. They're from the West Country. So they sound a bit like, ooh, you know, that kind of thing. What are the worst? Oh, no. Don't make me play the Wurzels. God almighty. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll play a Wurzels tune, right? But a cover song rather than one of. The... Actually, no. Should I just play one of their songs? Imagine if I get copyright struck for the fucking Wurzels tune. Okay, we're, we're doing it. Fuck it. I'm taking a risk, people. I'm ta I've spelt it completely fucking wrong. Brilliant. You absolute knob. Um, I'm a cider drinker. Here we go. When the moon shines on the cow shed Absolute trash. <laughs> uh, the high point of British culture. True. Why permit that and why defend that? In the What's context the in which, what, what does it do? In the context in which you brought it up, I totally disagree with the term. Yeah. Okay, but why? Okay, so so uh, do we have to keep on using the term then if that's how it's often and or I would say primarily used? Would you not want to just maybe select different terms if you want to vent about a non-binary... See, I think, this is where the situ I think this is where the confusion came up. Because you're saying mm -hmm. that it's primarily used as a way to just attack non-binary people. And I think that the amount Isn't of times I've seen... Purpose? I think the, the amount of times I've seen it used has actually just been pretty limited. And in the situations, the person was so shitty that I, I didn't feel like tone policing them on it. Okay, so if someone's really shitty, we can just go after their identity regardless of what it is? Where's the line on that, then? Where's the line on that? Well, yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> if you're saying that it's okay to basically try and, and, and use an insult that's like, could risk inducing dysphoria, what else can you say? How far- No, why? Eric Idle did a Bob Harris bit. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Whistle Test. Tonight on Whistle Test, we've got Rex Higgins, Steve Flea, the Wretched Admiral Sphincter, Grunties, Hot Nadgers, Red Buttocks, and Toad the Wet Sprocket, so it promises to be really good. We've also got a preview of the new Vomit album, and I shall be talking as usual, like this. Wow. But first on Whistle Test, here's our studio group, Toad the Wet Sprocket.
You'll all no doubt have recognised I've got with me now Mantra Robinson. Oh. Mantra, it's good to see you. Yes, it is. <laughs> Mantra, your new album on the vegetarian label, uh, Karmic Subtopian Protoplasmic Maximised Mantric Arcadian Intrusions. It's been held up. Why? They're having trouble with the spelling. <laughs> it's a great title. <laughs> it, is, it is a great title. Thank you. How far can you go? Is this is, is the same thing true for other groups? Can you become a little bit racist if an ethnic minority is annoying enough? Like, it, it feels like you're... Yeah, it's the, the, the argument like, um, like for instance, uh, uh, Blair White is a piece of shit, okay? But I will always refer to her as her, because that's what she is, okay? Her being a massive piece of shit doesn't change that. And I think it's gross to, like, try and, I don't know, weaponize that against a person is pretty grim. Hello there, Shining Abyss 12. You should hit the follow button. You should. I believe in you. You're permitting dis like a degree of discrimination on the basis of someone being annoying and retarded, which I understand ah! uh, as an urge. You can't, you, you can't be going around using the fucking R word whilst trying to police people's fucking language about offence. That's ridiculous. What are you, what are you doing? It's like saying "don't be racist," you n word. Like it's it's uh, what you. Uh. Pe uh, people can people just stop? Can people stop? Why did every singer from the nineteen seventies look like Charles the Second? Good question. I don't know. But I think that's as a principle really not good. I feel like good. if we're going to we... get into tone policing and woke scolding, it feels really weird to use the re the term retarded in the same conversation. True. Don't you agree? Very true. I mean, I don't really care. I'm I'm disabled. I can use that. I can say that if I want to say that. But that would apply to yourself. But you were using it on other people. Okay. I mean, I I don't really I, I don't really see the issue here. I'm I'm using it to describe something in a way that's very clear to me, uh, and is uh, commonly used that way among my peers. It's, it's yeah, very I would well known to be that. Girl, so I would agree with you. That's you why said you I don't, don't see they've they used. Okay. I never have. So, I I just okay, but okay. So so if we agree, she mad is bad. Uh, can we agree they they fab is probably bad and unnecessary and avoidable? Yeah. Aced. Okay. Go. W. Then we shouldn't be. Then I should be fine. To... I was about to say what I don't. Okay. I. I mean, there's quite a lot of this debate to go, so I'm not sure. What they disagree on. Hmm. Say I want people to have anvils fall on their head. I'm just saying I want no, it. I, Obviously, I'll... I'm not going to do it. I mean, the fact that it's a term that comes from the trans community. And that you say that if someone uses this term, you want them to die, that's fucked up. I still think that's What do you mean? Really there are weird. so many fucking awful terms that's born from the trans community, which are terrible to say. Why would you, why would you then be like, oh, that's holy, it came from fucking 4chan. Like, are you, really? That's not, that's not a, an approach, I don't think. So you think that a term that comes from a marginalized community that doesn't belong to you, you can be the arbiter of that community. This is some id poll bullshit. How is that this is id some poll id bullshit? bullshit? Because there are plenty of trans people who agree with- Again, id poll becoming like a, a bad word. Like this is again, this is the South Parkification. Caring about stuff is, is gay and shit. Oh, isn't it awesome to just not give a fuck about people? Like- with me there are a bunch of trans people who agree with I, you. I get it you have trans be like friends. actually I just don't understand how this like this I is mean, a weird optical move how I is feel it a like. weird optical move it is a weird optical move you're trying to attack me saying that I like that I have that I know people who agree with me because you're so, trying to imply that I don't know anybody who actually thinks this way you're trying to imply that I actually haven't spoken to enough trans people to understand why it might be okay that this term gets used look uh, he can't be transphobic. Some of his best friends are trans. Fact. Aren't you? I just don't know why you're being so defensive on this. I'm not being... I'm, I'm being pretty straightforward and you keep on dodging shit, I feel like. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I... Did I not... Is it not, like... 
I don't know. I mean, you agreed with me that we shouldn't use it, and yet, like, this entire conversation, you've been defending it. Like, what's your actual position here? If uh, Is it not That's, just... That would, that so, would be so, my question, yeah. yeah. If you agree it's bad, like, what's the... What's the problem here? Like, just end the meeting and go your separate ways, maybe? Yeah, but we agree. It's a term that should be avoided... Uh, and and we, we shouldn't use it. And if somebody is shitty to you, I mean, you yeah, in the context in which this came up in the first place, you were saying that people who say this word deserved it. Well, oh my god, it's a fucking tweet, Caffles. Like, really? Are well, you that gonna, was the context gonna... of the con I, Again, the oh, it's just a tweet. Nothing matters. Just be cynical about stuff. It's South Park fucking nineties uh, radical kid edginess. It's fucking dumb. Stop it. A tweet is a statement of your fucking opinion, to some extent. Now, you can argue that you were joking, or you can argue that uh, it was metaphorical or poetic. There are lots of ways in which you can take that. But just saying, oh, it's just a tweet, as if tweets carry no... Much. It's a statement that you made. It's no different than if you spoke it with your fucking mouth. It's no different than if you wrote it in a fucking book. Or scrawled it in shit on the side of someone's fucking house. It's a statement that you made. This cynical, like, detachment of, of value from things. In order to just get out, just to get a donk on the internet as well. It's not even for any good fucking reason. It's infuriating. Conversation. Okay. I mean, I, I was making a joke about anvils falling on people's heads. Like, really? I was saying that I think it's annoying and shitty when people do that. Okay? I was putting in a... Have you been following me? I have, Rohak. I've specifically been following you into the toilet and watching you shit. Honestly, you need to wipe more extensively. I'm not saying you're dirty. I'm just saying you're lazy. Creative and humorous way. I don't actually believe, shockingly, that people should have anvils fall on their head if they use the No, to be fair to you, they're not called Karl Marx, they're called Karl Max. So I think it's like a joke, like, like, um, p uh, people always do this on the internet, like, um, uh, someone, I, I follow someone on Twitter called Leon Thotsky. It's, it's like a silly joke, right? It, people do that all the time. Um. So how do I know when and when you aren't serious if you say something and then it's a joke? I'm sorry, do you read a tweet where I say every time someone uses the term they fab, an anvil should spawn in 30 meters above their head and go, oh no, they're gonna do it. Like, well, I really? mean, you could have just said that it's shitty and no one should say the term, but you specifically Yeah, everyone said would that. love that. That would be really funny. That would do really well. That would do great on Twitter. Everyone loves when you make a blank statement and you don't, like add anything to that true oh so wait you were rage baiting i mean no i was i was making a point about how i'm annoyed by people who use that term and i was doing so in a way i found funny i mean sure you can say i was rage baiting i mean my tweets are generally kind of provocative right to people who disagree with me if that's how you want to define it but i was just saying my opinion really yeah this is all this is all like really I don't even know where to go from here in the conversation. Hey, I, I think I miss I misinterpreted where this was coming from. I thought there was a situation that was happening that provoked this and you were subtweeting. I didn't know that it was I mean, just a provocative tweet. Well, no, a situation it's an ongoing situation of that being used to to discriminate against trans masks for ages. I would say that's a situation. I've it's just not a very term... specific one. And see, I think that's the problem as well. The difference in our experience. I've never heard that term used to talk I, about trans I, I, I Look, hey, I, I would think that's I, later... incredibly shitty. That's why I was so confused. I'm when really baffled by this. I, I, look, later, later when you're done streaming, I will go through and I'll, I'll send you some examples from people I know. Later, I can send you. Who is this child? Well, they're a Voshite. But that they they want you to know that they're a Voshite and therefore they know lots of trans people. Um, I don't even know who they are particularly. They're a person called Carl Max on the internet, and um, they they're trying to tone police. I think quite rightly in the sense that they have does seem to be a kind of slur, but also whilst using the R word pretty liberally. Um, 
Yeah. It's all it's all um very internet, very dumb. All of it, frankly. Honestly, a Dr. Logan is in session and I am giving everybody a prescription of touching some fucking grass. Okay? Examples of people being called they fab in a, in a derogatory manner solely for existing as a, as a trans mask person. I can send you plenty of examples. I can send you tons upon tons. Okay, but I, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to put people on fucking blast. But if you don't believe me, I think that's really stupid. I do want to put all can, of like, the people on blast. Later, but I'm not going to... First of all, I don't have a bunch like in the backlog because I thought it was like known that it's used like yes, that. Yes, Vogel, um, yes. And, and, and furthermore, I don't want to have like put people who I'm friends with and who are already getting enough shit uh, on blast, right? Mm hmm Right, right. Sorry, I was just like... What's this? So you've got... Honestly, I'm still having financial troubles despite the opportunity he has to make money that's kind of on him at this point. And then Cherry TV says, kind of weird fucking thing to say about someone who's financially abused and put into debt by his ex. Oh, so they, it's a Xander Hall thing now. Okay. I didn't know that you... Is he still streaming? I don't even know. You're saying that Xander Hall deserved his financial troubles? Oh Just my a god. Random thing out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, my my chat that's... is drama frogging. I mean, that's shitty, but this is a t Kev saying blast is violence, and it's wrong debate for an hour. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, uh, my user, sorry, two five five or Clem H Fandango, if you will. My username comes from the fact I used the blurb on a historical novel in W.H. Smith's set in the year 2055 AD, the day I created my YouTube account, like it was literally just that phrase was in my head. Well, thank you. I'm glad about that. Karl Max Schuthuis, uh was born in 1885 in Nuremberg. I don't think this is the same one then, because this guy died in 1965. At the age of 75 or 76. And this person appears to be alive. So. Yeah. This is from the ad block drama. Um, yeah, where drama. somebody's. The ad block drama. Where he said that uh, ad block being blocked on YouTube would be great. I made fun of him for it. He blocked me and everyone who liked my tweet. Um, the context yeah, but... of that being said was that. No, no, no. What has Keffels done? Uh, 9-11 um, sank the Titanic she um, got Firefly cancelled and um, led to the uh, death of uh, the Montreal Expos these are all facts these are all things Keffels did and uh, may God have, have mercy on her everlasting corrupted soul. Hold on, let me let me okay. explain the context. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to explain it. I think the problem is that you came from this like immediately no, off no, the no, bat. No, no, you've don't, been you bad faith. Do don't don't. You have been what? bad faith with me. What the fuck are you talking I about? I asked the, the context in faith? which this conversation was happening. Sorry. Also, the finances what? thing was in response to me saying that if after a year of like him fucking like trying and uh, streaming uh, and, and and like selling merch and shit that he should be able to make back like the fucking I think it was like ten grand that he like lost or something. And I said that if he hadn't managed that, it would be shitty finances. And it was a, I tweeted at a time when I was being dogpiled and stuff no and no like... i'll tell you who started the current israel um uh, uh, palestine conflict okay the bahamas now you're thinking to yourself how the fuck did a small island nation in the caribbean do that well i'll tell you everybody i noticed this yesterday it came to me like a bolt from the blue where are we look at that it's in the name it was right there the whole time. Hiding in plain sight. Bahamas. How could we have been so blind? Ron DeSantis saw it though. Ron saw it straight off. He knew they were going to try and invade Florida. And he said no. Me and my massive boots. 
that I, I definitely not hiding the fact that I'm 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 scared. <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed by the fact that I'm average height because he's not even short. He's just average height, right? Yeah, he he he, he bang to rights, bang to rights, mate. Like my first big drama, and it was obviously an Xandra tweet. Um, but you know, it happens, right? Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't. I'm not saying that he deserved his financial troubles. That is an exaggeration. Um, I mean, you honest. You said if he's still having financial troubles despite the opportunity. Oh, thinking so. Okay, it comes from so it comes from the wrestling thing, kayfabe. They fab. So it's so it is literally saying it's it's trans trender then. So they fab is just a new way of saying trans trender, i.e. you're not really a, the thing you claim to be. That's really fucking gross. But thank you for a hundred bits, thinking Sabergo. Don't forget you can uh, subscribe to the channel, give subs to the community, Amazon Prime, all the rest of it, and you can do uh, the bits messages, two hundred bits or more gives you a text to speech. You can go over to the, um, what you call it, Super Chats. Super Chat link below. Two hours or more. Text to speech. What more could you possibly ask for? Effort. Quality content. Psh, behave yourself. He has to make money, then it's kind of on him at this point. Okay. I mean, how much? I, I didn't know how much money he lost. It was it was an exaggeratory tweet made at a time when I was being dogpiled. It's so interesting how you're problem... deflecting. Why are you deflecting? No, right this now? is the problem. Where, you gaslighting going? piece of. Shit. You keep <laughs> exaggerating your points on Twitter, and then when you get called out on it, you end up walking it back, being like, "Oh." Yeah, that's true. That is that is true. He's done the oh well. I wish a, an anvil would fall on the head. Just joking, bro. And then it's, you know, taking the piss out of Xander Hall, rightly or wrongly. And then saying, like, oh, no, I was only joking, bro. Just a joke. Just a joke, bro. <sighs> it's annoying. It's very annoying. Oh, I was just exaggerating. Wait, I I'm was sorry. just rage baiting. <laughs> it's so bad. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you saying that I'm bad faith because I made a fucking joke about anvils falling on people's head and I said it's I'm not I'm saying you're bad serious? faith because you say one thing and then when you get asked about it, you just walk it back. Yeah, it's a typical Martin Bailey of the rage bait. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is bad I'm not faith, and walking, it's okay. walking it back. I'm sorry. I make. I. I think I'm making a very, a very reasonable case for why I said that, and I'm. I'm explaining it in a pretty reasonable manner. Also, that tweet's from like fucking seven months ago. Like, really? Guess. Wow, a whole seven months ago. Are you a fetus? Are you a fucking fetus? Is seven months that big of a period of time for you? It was seven months ago. You can't hold me to a thing I said seven months ago. Oh. Oh, these fucking Zuma people need to... I, honestly, they need to be Roblox. They need to go and play Roblox. Or Fortnite. Or Minecraft. Any of the games. They need to play the games. Something, get some new material. I'm sure I've said some fuck shit since then. Holy shit. That's right. Um, and I don't think I've been if that bad faith. I've been seven very seven months ago, it suddenly doesn't matter anymore. Oh my fucking god. And you're telling me I'm bad faith? Really? Like, you're, this is, like, you're so clearly doing a thing here where you're trying to, like, deflect and come up with something new I'm to not try deflecting and, like, portray me as being wrong. We can talk shit. about this That is an amazing as reaction. Long as, as much as you want. Love I was it. hoping that it could calm down. I don't know how this conversation got so heated in the first place. But you, you, because you, you fucking fuck. constantly disagreed with me on a thing being bad, despite eventually totally agreeing with me that that thing is bad. And it's bullshit because you're enabling transphobia towards fucking trans masks. I'm not enabling like transphobia to towards... Oh, oh, that's very funny, Lord Fritos. Go and play Roblox, you dickhead. Oh, and what? And what? Darvo, oh yeah, 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 that's that is true. Um, and just because uh, Lord Fritus annoyed me there, um, it reminded me of this for no particular reason. Just it just it entered my head. Where's the where's the thing? 
you know, this, this thing. So a guy decided to try and overpower a bull. And the bull went, oh, what's that, mate? You don't like having your head caved in by the fucking pavement. Well, you shouldn't have fucked with the bull! Boom. Just saying. Just saying. Words transmass. The context in which we heard this word was different. But that's not the context that's going to continue being used in now. The majority of the time that people use this term, massive it is bulldogs. to try and uh, like shit on trans masks who they don't like. And, I have and, literally and never seen this term used to shit on trans masks before. I fucking don't. look at any trans med account and look at the term. Tra I don't uh, fucking, regularly uh, look fan. at trans med accounts. Well, then you shouldn't be having this conversation. I shouldn't that's be exactly having this conversation about. because I am not a fucking weirdo who is constantly looking at trans med accounts. <laughs> this is. This is okay. All right. Is this is this gonna go anywhere? Because I feel like you're trying to constantly do some like pull some shit on me, and I don't really like it. You're like this. Is, I, I feel like you're really. I don't know. I I, I can see what you're trying to do. You know, like it, you can see I'm, what I'm not. What do you mean? What I'm trying to do? You constantly trying this? to pull it it pull bullshit every it time I make bullshit? an argument. bullshit. You're the one you who is doing you? an id pull debate right now. You're the one who started this by tweeting weird id pull bullshit that no one who. Can we, can we stop with this? Oh. Like, you're really... Ah, uh, what the fuck? What happened there? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, can we on the left not do the, Oh, id poll's bad, bro. You're doing an id poll. No, you're doing an id poll. Because you sound ridiculous. You sound like this could be some rightoid shittery. Your id poll. No, your id poll. I don't know. I I can see what you're trying to do, you know? Like, it, you can see I'm, what I'm, I'm not... What do you mean, what I'm trying to do? You constantly trying to pull id, id poll bullshit every id time I make an bullshit? argument. Id poll bullshit? You're the one yeah, who is doing you? an id poll debate right now! You're the one who started this by tweeting weird id poll bullshit that no one who goes outside knows about. You you told me several times that I can't have the opinions I have because I'm not, like, qualified to say them and I don't know, like, how, if I've, like, spoken to enough trans women and that kind of thing and trying to ridicule the fact that I well, say... Well, regardless of what one thinks of the two individuals in question here, uh, they are uh, undoubtedly to some extent on the left. Keffels is uh, uh, of the left and is a sizable voice within the left in these circles, right? So as much as we might not like their politics, and you might sniff at the idea of me referring to them as left-wing, they clearly are of the left, right? They might not be as left as we would want them to be, or that you would like them to be, or whatever, but to deny that they are is seems churlish. From the 12th of the it will no longer be legal. Whenever, whatever you do, don't. What? I don't, Marcel. I don't know what that is. You've blown my tiny mind with nothing. I don't, what is this? What, what is this? What? Hey, the sniff ticker poop. L-A-C-E-A-R-G-A-R -E -A -A donated $2.52. I've been wondering if Shu and Keffels have the same sort of energy, and I fell for the, or, she is based. When her stuff was more palatable to me, I feel like I've been conned by her. Well, thank you, L-A-C-E-A-G-G-E-R, for that, for that message, and I approve, whoever you are, L-A-C-E-A-G-G-E-R, yeah? I have after you like this like, entire made it conversation no. is all id poll bullshit. Like the entire thing is identity politics. No, yes. I'm saying it's id poll bullshit when you're saying that I can't comment on it or that I can't have. You an can totally on it comment on it. Okay, <laughs> but like why? Why? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't... there's no fucking way I can show that on the stream. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I mean, if, if anyone wants to know what I'm laughing at, the link is there. Sean uh, Ahi uh, Hagain? Apologies, Sean. That link is it's spicy, okay? That is not safe for work. If you're at work, do not open that link. That is 
That is going to be a tricky wank, is all I'm suggesting. Kevin Logan, you are you a cunt. I am a cunt. That is true. L-A-C-E-A-R-G-A-R. -R -R. That is true. Thank you. L-A-C-E-A-R-R. -R. Male presenting nipple. Yeah, but those are tits. I know that in theory that's supposed to be male nipples, but that is... Those are tits in a way that I don't think I could realistically argue with Twitch. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I was a partner, I might be able to get away with it. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, I, there's no way I can show that. As much as I'd like to, because it is one of the weirdest images. It's it's gross. It's gross. I just, I, I don't see the, the point in, in you defending it. I mean, it seems like you understand where I'm coming from oh, as yeah. well. So I don't really get why you're like, what what the point is. I mean, I, I, I can tell that you also just don't really know. And you should look into it. I mean, I can, I can, I can, uh, later, I'll, I'll look up fucking tweets on transmit accounts so I can prove to you that 90% of the time it's being used, it's being used to basically just be transphobic to trans nests. Uh, like, the, uh, it's like very clearly the purpose of the term, it's very clearly designed to do that. Um, there are a billion other terms you could use to insult people. Defending it is fucking totally unnecessary. I don't think we should be making fun of anybody. I, I, when somebody shit on, on, on Rose, Malay and tried to make her tran uh, her her feel dysphoric when when it was fucking Maya Luna going after her and trying to make her dysphoric. Uh, I, I I said I don't like Rose Malay, but that's shitty. We don't do that. That's past the fucking line. Why can't there just be? Have you got a link to that mid mid D eight? Who who left TYT and why they leave TYT? Like guidelines to this, right? Why can't there be limits? Reasonable fucking. Uh, uh, limitations for, for how we interact and, 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 and like conduct ourselves and not involve things like trying to bring up someone's fucking assigned gender at birth as some sort of argument. I think the reason that, and I'm sorry I got heated. I, I admit, <laughs> I got way well. too angry about this. And it's just <laughs> that you're obviously <laughs> seeing this word in a context that I haven't been seeing it. And yeah. I am not as connected with, like, if it... If... Well, if you can't submit a link there, you should submit a link on the Twitch. Which means you'll have to go over to the to the Twitch. But also, if you're on Twitch, you should go and subscribe to me on YouTube. These are things that you can do. Totally off subject, but did you hear about Terry Venables? I did, I did. Um, My abiding memory of, of 1996, uh, uh, Sir Terence of Venables... L Tell, um, manager of the England team, took us to the World Cup semi final. Was uh, it was when we lost the penalty shootout in the semi final, crying. Gareth Southgate made me cry that night, and I will never forgive him. Prick. Anyway, but he died, so that's you know. Although he was like eighty, so not a bad innings. Did quite a lot in his life, you know. If this is like a thing coming from the trans medicalist community, dude, maybe... it, it is. I promise you, like a hundred percent. That's why it confused me so much when you said this. Everyone I know, like, was wondering if you might be a trans med because you, you're arguing with me on this. Like, it is a confusing thing because it's genuinely something that we literally 99 percent see from the transmit no the pizza hut advert was not was not great the pizza hut advert was like oh miss a penalty and earn millions of pounds it was no 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 it was the worst idea fuck pizza hut yeah i said it which is worse the fucking pizza hut advert with the dickheads who missed a penalty or the gorbachev pizza hut advert i don't know all I'm saying is there's no justice that Gorbachev is dead and that Gareth Southgate is still alive. Put the push 2023. Community, do not see it from other people. Like I, 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 I think I like almost never have from from like other non trans medi people. Like I think you, you're underestimating how much of a their thing it is. Hey. 
What was that? I am so fucking lost with this discourse. Look, as I said, I... I'll, 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 I'll show you examples later. I just don't want to put people on blast. This... And I also don't want to, like, sit here and search through Twitter right now. Um, but I can find shit for you. You know, there, there are tons of examples of this. I mean, if there are trans uh, masks in your community who are like uh, not hyper masculine and or maybe even a little gender non-conforming, I'm sure they'll like, I, I, or like, uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people who have like had that experience. It is a very real thing that is used to right. just try and like cause dysphoria. Oh, so is this the thing? The why I'm no longer with TYT? We gonna be all right. I don't, I'd be honest, I don't know this person. But, um, is that the person, is this the video you're referring to? Because if so, we can watch it after this. Is it this person? See, I've never seen it used in that way. I, I've never, I'm I've... like shocked at that. Because I, that's like the, I've seen it used. All right, kids. I think maybe like in like the 50s or 60s of times. Yeah, that's it's been the used one. Like okay. that we'll watch it after time. then. And this is because I've, I've I've argued a lot with transmeds, right? Like that, I, I've dealt a lot with that because I, you know, I, I I like arguing with people, um, and 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 it's literally from them all the fucking time. And also because it reinforces their worldview, right? It reinforces the worldview that if you're not actually like really trans, you're actually just whatever you were born as, right? You're actually just in the they fab case, you're actually just a, a confused Thank you, thank girl, you, It's basically what they're saying a lot of the time, right? Yeah, it, I like mean, in the context, because I'm. Doesn't that fall into the context that I saw really being well? used? I'm not really was pushing for non partner. Non binary no. people who were assigned female at birth. I, I'm not really pushing for partner because I don't think I'll ever get it. I'm never going to be so overwhelmingly popular that they have to give it to me, and I'm far more problematic than I think their advertisers would be okay with. I mean, I'll keep applying every now and then just for the lols, I guess, but it's never going to happen. Birth who were talking about how they were doing AFAB only housing. And I'm not going to tone police a trans woman for using uh, they fab as an insult in that way. I disagree yeah, with you. Why would you disagree right. with me? That someone because obviously- that's the divide. Because if they that's actually like believe in stuff like that, they aren't trans, fuck that. I would not say that a person, I wouldn't- Why, why I would not? not? Why can't they just be trans and stupid? Why are you- You're not You listening. can't invalidate someone's transness. Trans stupid, yes. On, on the basis of them being stupid, if they want, you're not a, if listening. They want only ha if they're how, doing how they AFAB only trans? housing, how are they trans? That's that's. How would they? What do you mean? Because I think that anyone that? who was trans would know that's incredibly transphobic. What do you? What do you? Do you know how many stupid trans people there are? Do you know how many dumbass Four. trans people there are? That's we shouldn't be invalidating people's identities on that basis. That's terrible. I mean, uh, fuck Blair White, awful, terrible. Oh, thank you for getting in touch, L A C E A G G R R R. But I'm I'm good I'm good for now, thank you. Um, sorry, I'm reading a thing. Uh, what was I doing? I don't even remember. Terrible, stupid, tiny brain, little peanut brain. Still a woman. Still not going to call her a man. Still not going to imply anything about her fucking assigned gender at birth because I don't like her. Right? I mean, I agree with you. Based. Yeah, but I think that you... I don't know. This is just fucking weird. Like, what is the point tone policing someone who was upset about prejudice when this person should fucking know better? I'm not... First of all, like, the majority of I times... I think that's I'm the problem that... is that my context of coming to this term mm -hmm. and they also call themselves afab because they're in afab only housing so why is that bad if they're in uh, afab only that... housing they identify as afab i mean i think it's stupid and i think it's unnecessary maybe you could make an argument that in that specific case it could be like especially valid but if we're like looking at the majority of cases in which it's employed that's just not true um, and there are like a billion of ways uh, that you can refer to someone and, and shit on their opinions regarding gender and sex. Uh, oh. You know, trans misogyny, bioessentialism, these sorts of things, uh, which don't end up kind of basically reinforcing the whole thing of being like, we are very different because we're from different sexes. You are that. 
and 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 we are that you know like it, in, it's, in these it's cases where it's like someone it, who right? identifies as non-binary and then says like i'm afab i only date afab people why is then calling exactly them enough with afab housing or amab housing what about acab housing fuck yeah i'm a they fab as an insult awful in the context if, you described if, it, I absolutely hey, if feel they, if they weird. if they're only dating AFAB people. Okay, so if what, they are they have, if they are identifying they, they... themselves as AFAB. Okay. Because I mean, in what, the context what, what, what I'm using it, it's they're... people who call themselves AFAB, and I think that's okay. what was missing I mean, people... in the conversation. I don't really care if people mention what their like birth sex is. I don't think that's like an excuse to go and be like, "Hey, remember that?" Like I, <laughs> I don't know. I I just don't think it's uh, particularly necessary. Also, as I, as I said, the majority of times people are using these terms, it's not like that. Um, and therefore, if the majority of times that that term's not that that term's being used is like awful, we should use other terms to describe uh, things where you actually think that you might want to use it. Because if not, it might get you know misappropriated and misunderstood. Yeah, um, so it's like I'm trying. That's why I was asking for context of specific things because you're assigning a lot of baggage to the word without providing any clear evidence of the word being used for that term and outside Wait, of the context that i've are seen you really it, that's still why not believing so... me this isn't about <laughs> believing or not believing i want to see how the word is being used unless we're using I mean, this word I... in this with the same definition this conversation so I, I, I... can't go anywhere okay well let's find a definition i'm i mean I, again the fucking urban dictionary definition uh, it says a term to mock afab non-binary people simply a trender or the next one non-dysphoric person laughing is non-binary that's uh, transphobic and semi-often even homophobic. Um, that's one. Uh, a term that's mostly used by trans meds and true scums, which means a non-dysphoric woman LARPing as non-binary, uh, and so on. It's just, it, it's, it's a variety of terms that people want to use in order to try and invalidate someone's identity. Yeah, it seems like it's just transgender. They've repackaged the old bigoted phrase transgender. So don't fucking use it then see if they get disagreed with by someone that they dislike right and I, I i just don't think that's necessary i i think we i think we can we can shit on people in other ways i you know yeah um but yeah no I, it's my birthday i just turned Happy 20 birthday. so i want to get going and like chill and <laughs> yeah and, like, go and i'm sorry this turns so that. heated that's I, okay honestly no, look, i have no I, hard I, feelings I, for this is dumb yeah okay bye um that was literally a waste of everyone's time Nothing of any worth was uh, gained from that. That was uh, that was shit. I apologize for putting you all through it, but you should also give me bits and subscriptions because I I deserve the money for having watched that with you. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, this is from a person called We Gon Be All Right, who uh, apparently used to work with TYT and no longer does. Let's check it. All right, kids, in October of 2021, while looking for a job, I came across this listing on LinkedIn, looking for digital news content creators. This post was from TYT. I applied for the job thinking that I wouldn't hear anything back, got an interview almost six weeks later, accepted the position in early December, started in January of 2022, and 22 months later, after making 527 videos for Rebel HQ, plus being featured on dozens of TYT's live shows, I'm out. And it was them that got rid of me. Embarrassing considering everything that goes on there, but we're gonna talk about it today. Now, I debated myself the last few weeks about doing this because there's no need to even mention why and how some partnerships don't work out. It'd be like that too sometimes. Soon? Plus, is it ever I don't too soon for bits? Kitty bonk. It's too soon for 1066 Battle of Hastings, bitties. Okay? Outrageous. Also, thank you, Rohak, with one fuck you bit. That is a sniff dick of poop. I appreciate that. L-A-C-E-A-R-R-G-A-R -R -R donated $2. Thank you. You do not deserve chat's love. That is, I mean, that is true, L-A-C-E-A-R-R-G-A-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
However, many of you know me from that network and there are some lessons to be learned here that I will share which can be used by other content creators. Whether or not they make videos for digital media companies or independently or freelance and do a little bit of both like I did. Where you don't get benefits like healthcare and your check comes once a month and taxes aren't taken out of it, so you gotta be careful. With that said, when I signed my contract with CYT to be in their partner program. TYT wasn't even giving them healthcare. Fucking hell, man. Men fighting on this and there's new jobs. Um, thank you, 255. Uh, yeah, um, that's fucking wild, isn't it? Like, how can you, how can you be this, Again, it's it's typical, I suppose, of of Chenk, the the soon to be president of the United States. Honest, um, he's a union buster. He doesn't offer fucking benefits to his employees. He's a millionaire though. He's fine. No, he's fucking living high on the hog. Oh, he's loving it. Oh, old, old Chenky fucking two jags. He loves it. Fucking joker. It pretty much said that they own my work that I do for them and can do whatever they want with it in perpetuity. It will be up to me to research, write, record, edit, and produce these videos, at least four per week, by myself, and get help from my assigned publisher who will send me pitches and any resource I might- Exactly, high on the hog with his trotters up. The twat. As for, like, articles and b-roll. I can turn down pitches or pitch a new story myself, either way, the TYT publisher will post my videos on Rebel HQ's YouTube channel and Facebook page and take care of- Exactly. Chenk lives like a capitalist every single day, Chenk. Tag, title, and thumbnail themselves. As for getting paid, Old there was a flat rate per video and I can earn bonuses if said videos gain over a million views that month. And I did that. My first month. Earned that. January 2022. Over a million views across 16 videos. Here are my first- Thank you for following on the YouTubes. First two that I worked on. The first one that I finished and gave to them and the first one that they posted. Sometimes I wondered why they posted videos when they did. A few weeks in came my first lesson about TYT and really probably all digital media companies. Going viral covers a multitude of mediocrity. Like even if the rest of my videos did say 30,000 views per, but one got 464,000 like this Blacks for Trump video, which made up more than 45% of my views that first month. It's all good. That was my second highest viewed video during my time there too. Anyways, in February, I got over 850,000 views and I realized that I wanted to be a I, Honestly, it, it was so mental when the, uh, the, the Trump cope video compilation things that I did went like quite, kind of viral, right? Like my usual videos get like a thousand views or some shit. And those ones were getting like five, six, seven hundred thousand views, which is fucking wild, right? And they get like get plenty of rewatch as well. Those ones, people cannot get enough of those videos. I still get comments basically every day on at least one of those videos. I get a comment on people say, "Oh, this is amazing. You should do more of these," which I might do. Like, there's going to be more. Co like, he's going to be candidate next year, and he, I hope he loses. A, because I think that would be better for humanity and you know, the American people. And I do see the American people and humanity as two separate groups. Um, but also because I'll get to do more uh, copium videos, which will be fun for me, I think. Uh, the, the first edited content I've done since the last <laughs> of copium videos. Digital content creator full time. Not with TYT, I just... I knew that the person who hired me was well connected and had networked for much of their career, yet... When I emailed them about any opportunities they may know in the biz, they responded to me like I was asking to be paid full time by TYT after only 30 days on a job. They took the liberty to remind me of how the great David Schuster, who was an anchor with MSNBC and was there at the start of Fox News, went from being a freelancer to being full time on staff after nine months in millions of views. And I hadn't achieved anything close to that yet. So I was like, Nah, I'm talking about a podcast or something at a different company that you may know about. Just trying to leave my day job. And they were just like, oh, okay. I understand the ask now. He never said this, but I think it was a money saving decision on the part of TYT. Yeah, Rayvan is still at TYT. Although I don't, because they've been very busy with their, um, uh, like, um, what do you call it? Lawyer, 
lawyer training, whatever their education. Uh, I, I don't think they've been doing much on TYT, but they're still, I think they're still with the network. Yeah. By T to make him full time, David must have been earning so much money from bonuses. He was the king in terms of views, likely still is. Not bad for a Michigan man. I was chasing his numbers the whole time I was there. Look at the most successful videos on the Rebel HQ channel. Most of them are him. I got a chance to talk to him one-on-one -on -one a few times in order to pick his brain about making content and he told me that he had no notes for me. It meant a lot coming from him. It let me know that my style was real. After a while, when he would talk to me, he would assume TYT must have brought me on staff and wanted to do more projects with me, but nah. Appreciate him though. Also, that February, I found out that I would get to co-host Indisputable with Dr. Rishi, which was a cool and unexpected perk that came along with That's the job. Dope, yeah. Man. For him to see my work and want me to contribute to his show was everything. I'm not gonna act like I know him, but he seems to be the same person on and off the air. And that was refreshing. Okay, fast forward. After February, my views slowly crept down each month until the summer. And what I'm about to say and admit is important for the rest of what I'm gonna tell you. It was my fault. I was the reason why my views were tanking my first six months. I said that to them. I was talking about whatever I wanted, nothing timely or trending. I didn't take into account that, in my opinion, the average Rebel HQ viewer is a 45-year-old liberal white man from the Midwest. That's not something TYT told me either, although they agreed when I asked if that was the case. I figured it out over time. Here's a sample of what I was doing. Why? I didn't tailor my videos towards what I- So San Francisco mayor boycotts police during Pride Month, black on black crime myth debunked. National Police Week announced on George Floyd something. Study finds implicit bias in hiring practices. Jordan Peterson thinks he's a victim again. You'd expect that to get a bit more play. And the moment when Bill Maher went full elitist. Again, ditto, you'd expect a bit more on that. I knew about the audience. Partially didn't want to, but I was already aware of this and admitted as much to the team during analytics meetings, which took place every two weeks or once a month as needed. So when I got an email in late June, I think it was my birthday actually, saying my viewership or lack thereof wasn't sustainable, I already knew what I needed to do. And I did that. Here's the first two videos I gave to them afterward. So it was all good a week later. I gotta say one thing about that email. I was told that in order to be more successful, I should take more pitches from my publisher and do less Ohio news based stuff. And I was given these two examples to go by. For one, I pitched both of these. Two, this is an Ohio-based news story. What? I... So I kept this misinfo in the back of my mind as I went along. July was the second time in six months that I crossed one million views. August... Okay, this is, uh, uh, we'll watch it to the end. But so far, this is not what I thought this was going to be. This is like, this just seems like some background shit. It doesn't seem like he got fucked over so far. Well, other than the fact he's not getting paid, he's not getting benefits, and he's not—he has to pay his own fucking tax and shit. Like, it, yeah. But that's Chenk being a capitalist, I guess. August, I got 1.4 million, and I saw 2.4 million in September. So, since I was rolling, I decided to quit my day job and bet on myself making content full time. This would free me up to do more appearances on live shows. I would do eight to 10 videos for Rebel HQ a week and then make videos for my YouTube channel every 10 days or so. It was kind of like the Kanye thing. Produce dope stuff for others, but save some of those beats for yourself. September of 2022, realizing that I needed to step my promotion and exposure game up, I go back to the person who hired me, email them and ask, what the criterion was to co-host more of TYT's live shows. I had done Indisputable multiple times to that point, but none of the others. And if views or personal viewpoints were what gave people favor, I thought I had that. Furthermore, I saw that other people in the partner program were making regular appearances on the watch list, damage report, and the main show. Not everybody, sure, but why wouldn't I get an invite? They weren't doing or saying anything that I wasn't, and I hope, that I never forget the reply that I got back. Quote, to be on the Young Turks and some of our other live programming, you must have a demonstrated comprehensive facility with topics like progressive policies, the political landscape entirely, facility with economy, international politics, climate science policy. You realize that 
Chenk is like one of the main people on that platform, and he did. This doesn't apply to him at all. What? I see to name just a few, and you haven't quite covered those topics. I'm going to pause right there. Even if it was the case that I hadn't demonstrated a comprehensive facility with the topics they named, they would be missing all the other things I bring to the table, which the TYT audience had found valuable up until then. This person also repeated back to me something I said to them when I interviewed for the job, which was, I didn't feel as comfortable talking about politics as much as I did with social commentary. And that was true nine months before that. So they were holding that against me. And any social or political commentator will tell you, talking about something like climate change, for example, on this here app, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't add in, you've also got to have a very strong take on birthing persons as well. So, maybe that's his problem. Maybe he's maybe he's not uh, bonus hole pilled. You know? Won't get you views as important as it is. So if I make a video where I explain climate science well, and it gets 8,000 views, but I make another one making fun of MTG, and it gets... 470,000 views, my video with the most views, will my take on global warming get Stop me it. on the damage report? Come help. on. My strategy was working. Anyway, uh, thank you, Scute, for resubscribing. You are one month away. You are one month away from a post-birth baby wobble abortion. Much love to you. How does bonus homes does he have? No, bonus... Ho oh, sorry, anyway. How many bonus holes does he have? Uh, 69. Nice. Ah. Uh... Okay. And they knew that because the rest of that paragraph read, actually, you shouldn't cover as we are working on a specific content strategy for you to have success with Rebel HQ, which again, should be your focus. So there's that. They also told me that I will begin to make appearances on the watch list in a few weeks with J.R. Jackson, which I did. He was also great. So September, October, November, December of 2022 were a breeze. I was averaging 2 million views per month going into the new year, making 28 to 32 videos per month. But behind the scenes, three other creators in the partner program reached out to me to see if I could help them get more views. I'm not going to name names, but these were talented individuals who felt like they couldn't crack the algorithm or figure out the TYT audience. Not that I'm great or anything, but I think I'm at the very least approachable and accessible. I told them the little bit that I knew, and sadly, it didn't work out for those three people. Their fate was the same as many others. I would follow them later. And this is how I learned what the beginning of the end looks like with TYT and how much of your success is out of your hands. February of 2023, my best month, almost 2.9 million views in 29 videos. The closest I ever got to that coveted 100,000 views per video mark. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah. And that was great because March of 2023 was possibly my worst month. Views more than chopped in half, fell off of a cliff. And I was already aware of how important titles and thumbnails were to success on YouTube, but geez. And just as long as everything remained the same on my part, with my average view duration and percentage viewed rate pretty much similar month to month, those are metrics I control, by the way, title and thumbnail carry the day. My success and the success of millions of creators is hitched to the click-through rate. Still, I felt like March was a one-off bad month. The spring of 2023, earlier this year, I started to hear about Cenk Uyghur and Anna Kasparian saying anti Cenk Uyghur? I mean, I know he's, he's sort of from a Muslim background, but I'm not, I don't think he's a Uyghur. Trans right-wing type stuff, and I didn't know much about it because I never watched their show. I had no idea of what I wanted to do or say about it. I wondered if I should quit working with TYT, but I figured the host of the other shows should do some of the heavy lifting. I was a freelancer. With that said, I could maintain my position and my stance and oppose Chank and Anna about trans communities through videos I was already making for the platform while calling attention to what was going on in my... What's this? This tweet has been deleted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's been, yeah, he was calling out Anna. Okay. Own way. I'm a mother. A mother, not a birthing person. I earned that right. 
with my cellulite and my stretch marks. This whole don't call me a birthing person thing that the host of a show for the company that I freelance for made famous reminds me that there are things that I don't want to be called. Before I continue, Benny Carolla. Prior to even starting with TYT, I reached out to a few of the contributors to see if they could show me the ropes and b -b -b Ben Carolla. Some didn't even respond and others didn't give me the time, but Benny did and laid out everything I needed to know that made her successful with TYT. It was so nice of her to do that. She didn't have to. And I was simultaneously glad when she went on to leave TYT, but I was frustrated that she had to. I hope I didn't let her down. The month of May comes after a decent April. Views are back down, but this time it feels different. And then I was told during our analytics meeting that the 100,000 views per video thing was a financial break even point. And that had never been said to me before, at least I don't remember any of that. That 100K threshold pays for me, the creator, and the publisher, and so on. So starting in July, I got four strategies and recommendations. One, do less videos per week. Two, take all of the publisher's pitches. I couldn't pitch anything myself. Three, focus on Trump supporter content. Four, one-liner in between clips. Let me explain that last one. I was told to show a clip of something, say a sentence, play another clip, one more sentence, and an additional clip, then add context, details, and nuance like I usually do. This was supposed to keep the audience and maintain average percentage viewed, but my entire time in the program, that metric rarely went under 55% for me. Meanwhile, when things were falling apart, my CTR was under 9 in June and never got above 11.67 during my final four months there. Back when I was banging, that rate was 14.29. I can't stress enough, I did not do title and thumbnail myself. I wish they would have come out and just said, we haven't been marketing you the way we should or used to. We're not holding our end of the bargain. Now, this is where I want y'all- Is that because he criticized Anna? Or it's just because they're bad at business? Because they're, they're hurting themselves with that shit as well, right? Or to advocate for yourselves better than I did because this decision not only impacted my income, but these things weren't the reasons why my views went downhill. And they for damn sure weren't going to push them back up. It's not like the other creators in the program who found success were doing these things exclusively or I used to do them and then I stopped. Oh, and when I got around to asking how many other creators actually earned 100,000 views per video, I was told most of them did. Okay, wow. No one ever told me though, whether my click-through rate, average view duration, or average percentage viewed were on par with others either. Needless to say, none of that worked. That's clearly why I'm sitting here talking to you about this now. One last gasp of an effort was to make longer videos over five minutes or so, but videos for Rebel HQ were required saga. to be at least three minutes and five seconds. Also, another publisher caught a TikTok of mine and the team encouraged me to make content for them like this. How do you do, fellow Americans? It's me, Tim Scott. I'm just like you. I eat McDonald's, I like baseball, I wear pants, and I'm called all <laughs> manner of N words at the suggestion that enslaved black people didn't learn beneficial skills while in chains. I'm an American doing normal things, taking pictures of my McDonald's like it's new and unique. Not sure of why I'm holding my fries like this. Traditional values, conservative. Okay, look, <laughs> Tim Scott might be pretending to be he's something good. he's not. This may now include his status as a single 59-year-old black man running for president because GOP donors are wondering about his personal life, which is why, in Iowa, he said this. It's been one of the more asked questions recently. I do. I'm dating a lovely Christian girl. She doesn't even go to this school. You wouldn't know her. Actually, she's the one who took this picture. Tim Scott's going to have to keep talking about this lovely Christian girl all because his political party thinks he's gay. We meet you. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Just like his boyfriend. Oh! That's what you get, Tim. If you're prepared to sell out your uh, uh, the fact that you're black, uh, the, sell out the fact that you might be gay, yeah, like you, you know, you have if you have to stay in the closet and shit, that's on you because of your political aims. Fuck you.
Actually, fuck all, like, gay conservatives or queer conservatives. Fuck you. You sellout cunts. Girlfriend? But you will, of course. Some nah. Save all them good beats for myself. My last day with Rebel HQ was November 4th, although I'm scheduled to co-host Indisputable in December. But there you have it. That's what happened. My last few months in the program didn't do me any favors. Not much of a partnership when one side fails the other. That applies to both sides, me and them. I'm proud of my work and what we were able to accomplish though. I'm thankful for what they did for me. TYT helped raise my profile. My YouTube channel has more views and subscribers due to my time there. I'm a pretty stubborn person and I'm resolute when it comes to my craft. And I gotta be honest, there are moments when I question if I sucked. Was I not good? But then again, look at the Rebel HQ roster and who used to create content for them. Jessica Burbank is doing well for herself and I think she left TYT. The Conscious Lee has over 2 million TikTok followers and the program didn't work out for him either. Sometimes talent and network don't match. Remember that. I will say, check Rebel HQ's numbers. I'm willing to bet that if you compare what they've done from September of 2022 to those in March of 2023 and include September of 2023, I bet views are declining. I may have been asked to leave a sinking ship. I hope not. I still root for individuals to succeed. Ravana, Yasmin Khan, Max Burns. Sheesh. Ravana's awesome. Go and follow Ravana immediately. One day he DM'd me out of nowhere and said that it was great to share a channel with me. Come on now. If TYT valued me like they did with other That's people, wholesome. I would have been given more chances to venture out past Rebel HQ. But now, my plan is to beat them down. Some people get more opportunities than others. That's everywhere, all the time. But on the off chance that I hear somebody got to do something I didn't, I'm like, you're sticking with that motherfucker? <laughs> Are you serious? They said they didn't want me, and I know what that means. Tom Brady, noted Birmingham City fan now. Technically a minority owner. That's literally true, by the way. Um, it's still bizarre to me. It, it, that's a thing, but yeah. Uh, he tweeted this out. I only realized when I got... Um, uh, why did I type in Tim? Look, he's literally wearing the thing. In the, oh my god. Look, that's his fucking profile picture. Is him wearing a fucking blue shirt? Mental. Fucking mental. And he tweeted out, uh, there we go. All about the blues today. Banger! At BCFC. Mad. Fucking mad. Love it, but mad. I know what that feels like and I'm gonna fuck you up because of that. Today I work at a local high school. I'm still trying to figure out my next steps. Some of you may know what my dream job is and Roy Wood Jr. just left The Daily Show last <laughs> He wants to do The Daily Show. You know what? Dream big. Dream big, friend. You fucking go for it. Um, hello there, Dick Penderin. You should hit the follow button. You should. It was the first win under Rooney. He's, he should still fuck off, though. He's not a good manager. He has shown nothing to suggest he's a good manager. He was a good player in his day, but fucking awful manager. Derby County relegated, did fuck all in America, and then we sack a guy who had us in the fucking playoff hunt. We were in the playoff places. Fucking... Uh, honestly, for, uh, being a Birmingham City fan is like... It's like my... Uh, I, I needn't have bothered giving up Catholicism. Because it's, uh, uh, it's original sin. Because my father was a blues fan, he made me a blues fan, and now I'm, what, I fucking... I have to carry this fucking cross with me everywhere. It's infuriating. It's, uh, honestly, it's a fucking bane of my existence. I pay a fortune to go and sit in the cold and watch shit. Don't even fucking start, Frank. I will cut you from the channel. Nearly, nearly did a TOS there. Don't even fucking start, okay? I will show you the back of my hand, good sir. 
last month. So there's an open slot for a correspondent. Even Roy explained why he left, but I've been trying to get their producer's attention. So with my news anchor sign off that I borrowed from Childish Gambino, not sure if this is going to be the last time I use it, and they could be t no, they couldn't. No, shut up. Shut up, dick. Shut up. And this channel that I named after a Kendrick Lamar song, I leave you with this. As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective and my perspective may differ from yours. I wanna say thank you to everyone that's been down with me, all my fans, all my beautiful- I'm a sports atheist, that's fair enough. You know what, you're probably happier for her, I imagine. Yeah. I suffered because my uncle made me a City fan for 30 years. I worked through, uh, worked a bit there. Well, exactly. What I remember was Man City were fucking dreadful. I remember Man City being in the fucking third tier. Not that long ago. Hmm. Fact. Um, and then they got as friends Rust on board, and all of a sudden they're winning Premier League titles. Coincidence? Me thinks not. Um, at least you didn't have to be aware. Uh, well, that didn't even happen, Sean. So shut up, okay? Nothing that happened before I existed happened, so. Full fans. Checkmate. Anyone who's ever given me a listen, all my people. For We Gonna Be All Right, I'm Jeff Wiggins. That's it's true. I, I genuinely um, appreciate anyone who gives me any amount of time. If you watch my channel, even just occasionally, you just pop in for 10 minutes every now and then, or whether you watch every day, I appreciate it so much. Fucking beautiful shit. Love it. The last day I went to Borough only 13 years ago. Really? Oh, shit. God damn. Isn't, Trump a, isn't Brady a Trumpist and a cheat? Well, he's a Trumpist. I wouldn't say he's a cheat. I think that was a lot of uh, nonsense. Um, but anyway, Dick, I've, asked, I've already asked you. You should hit the follow button, okay? If you, ask, if you make me ask three times, then I appear behind you like, uh, like Beetlejuice. Okay. Kevin, okay, when are Birmingham City going to get to the top thanks Ladies to and gentlemen, the money from a foreign guest bar? Victory is ours! Uh, Birmingham City will never get to the top because of the money of a foreign desk bar. Birmingham City are such a fucking cursed football club that even if fucking uh, Sheikh Salman himself, not Sheikh Salman, what's his name? The fucking the, the Saudi Arabian cunt. Like, the, even if he put the entirety of the wealth of Saudi Arabia behind us, we still wouldn't fucking win. We'd still end up finishing, like, seventh in the Premier League. Do you know what I mean? I followed you like I follow Leeds United. Oh, no. Oh. My apologies. Thank you, Arizona Day for North London. I appreciate you. Thank you, Arizona. Much love you. Much love you? Oh, I can't fucking speak. I can't spike. You weren't expecting a fucking Wardell uh, reference today, were you? Uh, thank you, Dick Penderin, for following as well. My architect knows Japanese. My architect knows Japanese. I don't know what the fuck's happening there. Bosh is streaming. What's he up to? Never asked, like, hey, cisgender guy. Can you engage with the psychoanalytic process by which you came to d realize yourself to be a guy? Cis cisgender men don't are asked to do that. Don't know what the fuck's going on with that. We'll leave that be, I think. That's, yeah. That don't need to be a thing, does it? Anyway. Why did it mute? No, well, I didn't press mute. It just muted itself. What the fuck? OBS is mental. Why did it do that? It's when I switched over to this, right? But I didn't press the mute button. So don't... 
Oh, the technology is harsh, man. I don't know what the fuck it is. I take back the appreciation. <laughs> That's fair enough. Uh, if you're on Twitch, you can go and follow me on the YouTube. If you're on YouTube, come and follow me on the Twitch. We're doing cross pollination, yeah. Perhaps Jesus wants you to be quiet. I think that's undoubted. I think the J Dog has wanted me to be quiet ever since I became an incredibly lapsed Catholic many years ago. Um. Anyway, uh, yes. Who, who's going on Twitch that I can uh, shuffle you off over to? Who's who's going? Uh, Ali the Fern. We'll go over to Ali. She's uh. A good egg, so to speak. Um, go and say hello to her. Uh, she's got awesome cats as well. So, you yeah, know. I'll be back uh, tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, people, we are going to try and play Gartic Phone. Okay? So if you want in on that, I'm going to open up the Discord line or whatever. And we'll try and play Gartic Phone and see if it works on stream for me. Because I've got the charity thing on Saturday. So I want to be able to make sure I, I know how to make that work visually on on stream. So if you want to be a part of that, be around tomorrow. It's I'll be starting at 6pm, but we'll probably do that around 7pm. Um, so, um, which is what? Uh, two, well, I'll start at 1pm US time, which and we'll do the game at about 2pm. Uh, Gartic Phone. It's... it's um, a collaborative drawing telephone game thing. It's it's a lot of fun. It really is, um, and it's good to watch as well. It's good from for everyone's perspective. So you know. Anyway, I'm gonna fuck off. I'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned for all of that shit. Um, and uh, stay beautiful. No pass around. <laughs>